doing guys? Today we're going to give you a little instructional video on how to use the E41 ECM upgrade kit from HP Tuners. Behind me I have a 2019 L5P as well as a 2023. We got the 24 just hiding in the back there. The 2017 to 19 kits, when you plug the fuse plug in, it will go in slot 57. It's a three, three prong fuse. You would want the red wire in the middle and then the white wire pointed towards the firewall. On the 2020s to 23s, you want to use fuse slot 78 and have the red wire towards the engine and the white wire pointed towards the tire. The 23s all set up, ready to go. So that's the one we will be giving you the computer instruction on. I got the VCM suite downloaded as well as VCM editor beta and I will take it. Here we are inside the truck ready to unlock our ECM. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the latest version of the HP Tuner software which is the VCM suite beta. You'll want to download this. It'll give you a, down or a beta warning. Select OK. If this is the first time that you were downloading HP Tuner software, you will need to download the desktop runtime update as well. As the beta is downloading, you can go ahead and select this. It's a quick install, couple seconds, but the beta software will not work unless it's been downloaded. Just go ahead and click install, accept. And as that's finishing up, the beta software should be finishing up as well. Once everything's downloaded, the easiest or the place you'll probably find the HP Tuner software is within the HP Tuners folder here. Then you will see you have the beta software downloaded. I have mine always moved to the desktop just for ease of use. But once once it's downloaded, you want to go ahead and open up the editor. It'll give you a beta software warning. The next thing you will want to do with your MPVI plugged into the computer is go to Help, Resync Interface. This will provide any updates for the MPVI 3 as well as add your credits like you see there. Another way to check to see if credits have been added to your device, if you resync and you do not see any, any being added, is to hit the blue info button as well as hit it again. Once it generates the information, you will see credits available. And those, the credits available are what you'll be using to license the ECM to unlock it. And if you have eight or 12, depending on if you're doing TCM tuning as well, then you are good to go. As far as the vehicle in the 17 and 19 and um, key ignition trucks, you will want to turn it two clicks to the on position. For push to start, you want to press and hold the start button with your foot off the brake for eight seconds. That'll, that'll put it into accessory mode. From there, you will want to click Read Vehicle. Go ahead and just click Read. It will pull up the ECM and sometimes the TCM information. For this demonstration, we do not care about the TCM, so we are just reading the ECM. Go ahead and click Read again. The read process will take a few seconds. Go ahead and hit OK. OK again. And this is where 
you will save it. Typically, I save a lot of the read files to my desktop as ECM read. I would also encourage you to put your order number or last name within the read file as well, just to make it easier to find your order. Go ahead and hit save. Now that the file saved, it keeps the file open. You will go ahead and hit right vehicle, show license options, specific to assign the eight credits to the ECM. Hit okay. Yes, we are sure. It is going to go through two write processes. This first one is what is unlocking the ECM. The second one sets it back to a factory setting. It does it automatically. Just after this first write, there will be a pop-up that shows up. As this is finishing up now with the first write, you will receive a pop-up message. Here in a second. Upgrade has been completed successfully. It will now perform the write entire, which is just the read file going right back into the ECM. So click OK. It will automatically start. And then this final write will take another seven to eight minutes. As this finishes up with the second write here, once it is complete, you will get one more pop-up message saying that the write is complete. You can uninstall the cable and move forward there. So go ahead and hit OK. Shut the truck off. And the one thing you do need to do before we can send you your tune file is to email us that, that read file we took because that will contain all of your vehicle's information as far as operating systems, ECM serial numbers, all the information we need to complete the file. So ensure that you send us that file from there. You will receive your tune file and be able to flash your truck with the unlock cable removed from the truck.